machining is a subtractive manufacturing method, removing materials to create parts. It plays an important role in prototyping and on-demand manufacturing. Hello everyone, this is Cynthia from Rapid Direct. Customers often ask whether a 3-axis or 5-axis machine is better for their project. Today, I will explain the differences between these two types of machines and share our insights on how to choose. Let's go with the basics. The distinction between a 3-axis and 5-axis lies in the number of axes involved. Axis refers to the number of directions in which the counting tool can move. These axes are typically divided into linear axis and rotary axis. A 3-axis machine performs machining operations by moving its tool or the part along the X, Y, and Z linear axis. Specifically, the counting tool can be moved anywhere along the horizontal X, Y plane and cut into parts to specify the depth, say X motion. Typically, 3-axis machines are used to produce parts with simple geometries, such as parts with 2D or simple 2.5D geometries. Now, on to 5-axis CNC machines. In addition to the X, Y, and Z linear axis, they added the two rotary axes A and B. These two axes rotate around the main X and Y axis and can be visualized as the orientation of the object moving down the main axis. Five axis machining. Often deemed one step up machining, as it processes multitasking on multiple facets of a workplace within a single setup thereby cutting down setup duration. Furthermore, the incorporation of rotary axis enhances precision when dealing with intricate geometric components. Conversely, 3-axis machining requires multiple setups for such complexities, and it might decrease efficiency and part quality. But why isn't 5-axis machining the default choice for all projects? The reason extends to machine cost programming costs, labor costs, equipment maintenance costs, etc. Let me give you an example. If we use both a 5-axis and 3-axis machine to process a simple flat part, the machining time for the 5-axis will be longer than for the 3-axis. And the machining cost for the 5-axis could be double the 3-axis cost. Hence, we advise against a blanket performance for 5-axis machining on all projects. Of course, when it comes to machining complex geometric parts, it's crucial to analyze each project individually. At Rapid Direct, we are committed to providing professional services and cost-effective solutions tailored to your needs. Feel free to reach out to us with your project. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future updates. And stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you in the next time.